YouTube. I'm here to continue answering that question I started answering last week. The question being, why does that guy sing like a girl? So last week we learned about the castrati, and if you missed that video, you can click right here. To review, castrati were men who, as boys, had their testicles removed or maimed in some way that kept their voices from maturing. From the 16th through the 18th century, castrati were the powerhouse voices in Europe. However, that changed in the 19th century when they started to fall out of favor and were instead replaced by the heroic tenor voice. Did this spell the end for men who sing like women? Luckily, no. Because secretly, while castrati were super popular and, you know, in the spotlight, there were some other guys who sang like women who didn't have their family jewels mutilated. They are currently called countertenors, and as I mentioned in the beginning of last week's video, they train their falsettos to be used as their main voice. The result is a voice that sounds like this. So that was Andreas Scholl, and he's probably one of the most famous countertenors out there right now. Since we can't listen to what an actual castrato in his prime would have sounded like, listening to countertenors is pretty much the closest we're gonna get to an authentic early music performance of castrati repertoire. But back to the story. So while castrati were popular and famous and everyone was all over that, the countertenors were secretly in the background performing several roles in opera and often singing alto parts in choirs. At the time, they were sometimes called countertenors, sometimes called falsettists, but it really isn't clear what the range was supposed to be for this voice type. The ranges varied widely, sometimes more in an actual tenor range and then sometimes more in an alto range. It was kind of all over the place. But we can really claim the birth or rebirth of the countertenor in the 20th century. In the early 20th century, musicologists such as ourselves began to study Renaissance and Baroque music much more intensely. With this increased study came an increased demand for performers who could perform this type of music. And there were two options. They could either get women to sing the roles that Castrati had sung before, or they could get men who would sing in their falsettos. One of the big proponents of performing early music at the time was this guy named Alfred Deller. Deller became a specialist in early music performance, and at first he called himself an alto, but then Michael Tippett, who's a composer, suggested that he call himself a countertenor. The word countertenor actually derives from early polyphony. At the time, the vocal parts were named things like superius, tenor, cantus, altus, basis, and something called a contratenor. Contratenor didn't actually mean anything other than pretty much being right above the tenor line. But since Deller obviously sang above the normal tenor range, the name worked and it stuck. And so pretty much every guy who sings in his falsetto is named a countertenor ever since. Now, there are some castrati roles that fit more of a soprano voice type and there are some castrati roles that fit more of an alto voice type. But luckily, countertenors have a wide range of voice types. There are altists and sopranists and, you know, everything in between. And now that countertenors are really an intrinsic part of classical vocal music performance nowadays, there's actually some new music being written for countertenors to sing. Some pretty spectacular operas have been written lately with pretty epic countertenor roles. Some of the biggest composers of the 20th and 21st century have written operas for countertenor roles, including Benjamin Britten, John Dove, Philip Glass, and even Thomas Addis, who has an opera currently being performed at the Met with a countertenor role. I actually saw a new opera by Chinese composer Zhu Long called Madame Whitesnake, and there's a really cool role in the opera for a countertenor. I got to see this performed in Boston a few years ago, and the amazing Michael Maniachi played that role. Side note about Michael Maniachi, he is one of the few men who sing like women who isn't actually a countertenor. Rather than train his falsetto after his voice changed, 
his voice just actually never changed. He has what's known as a male soprano voice, and it's a very, very unique voice type that you rarely get to hear. It's actually probably the closest to what a castrato actually sounded like. Here's a brief clip of what he sounds like. <laughs> can be heard up in this box thing. Okay, well I think that's a pretty good summary of an answer to this question that I get asked all the time. I hope this answered the question and probably a little bit more. Personally, I love the countertenor voice and I always look forward to an opportunity to hear one sing. Below in the description box thingy is a list of some of my favorite countertenors and at least one video of them performing. If I've left anyone out that you feel should be there, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely add them to the list. As usual, check out the Facebook and Twitter pages associated with Musicology for the People. And until next week, guys, cheers! Musicology.